Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Star Stylist Homestead. Well, this is just going to be a, a quick update. Um, <clears throat> we got off that cruise. Every one of us got sick. I lasted the longest um, up until a few days ago. I, I ended up with a little nasal congestion um, for maybe two days. My sister-in-law ended up in the ER the day we got back here and then went and then my brother got sick and my husband got sick and I was holding out my body was fighting that sickness um, they went home she ended up back in the ER that Monday she didn't have pneumonia thank God but really sick they all they both ended up on antibiotics and other stuff my husband just ended up in the ER yesterday um and they admitted him because he has pneumonia and you know he has muscular dystrophy so it's hard for him to cough anything up because of the muscles in his stomach um they're not like ours where we can just cough up that phlegm and get rid of it his was just building and blocking and yeah he ended up with pneumonia um i was the last couple days i've just been ugh, dead to the world. I've been sleeping on the couch even before he had went in just because he was coughing so much. I wasn't able to sleep and I didn't want to get sick because I have to take care of him and needless to say I ended up getting sick. <laughs> um, and yesterday I was out. My nephew actually took him to the hospital for me um, because you, as you know a hospital is breeding ground for germs and that's not a place I need to be. And for some reason, my eye for the last three days has been crusted shut every morning, almost like um, um, pink eye. I had that many years ago. It's kind of itchy, but I'm like, what the heck? And my sinuses are more on this side than this side. So I would think that it'd be this eye, but I don't know. So I think tomorrow I'm just going to call my doctor and... Uh, see what she says maybe if I have to go on antibiotics I don't know but my husband is improving my sister-in-law and my brother are both improving um, I'm just on the <laughs> downside and my son ended up getting sick too um, he ended up on antibiotics and he's doing better now I just need to disinfect my house again um, hopefully I can do it before my husband comes home but with the way I'm breathing and whatnot, I really hate to use bleach and Lysol and everything um, while I'm sick. So anyway, I feel okay. I just got out of the shower and just the, the hot water and I don't take hot showers. Um, never have, but I turn that baby up so that the steam could just get in and clear me up a little bit. <laughs> and it, it did. And it just felt wonderful. And I just put some old clothes and my pajama pants back on and I'm just going to veg out today. So I just wanted to update you guys and let you know that we all are on the mend. Um, well, I'm hoping I am. I'm just taking over the counter medicines and um, I've had a lot of headaches this last few days. So the ty and I can only take Tylenol products. So, um, I've been taking that and uh, it helps with the headache but I don't know if it's actually working because <laughs> usually within two days I'm good to go for the most part but this one seems whatever this sickness is it's really bad this year it's not COVID I took a COVID test my brother took a COVID test both were negative now my husband took one his was positive and my sister-in-law's was positive. But when they both went to the ER, they were both negative. So it could have just wore off or whatever. But I don't have COVID unless the test was screwy. I don't know. I never had the COVID shot. Going through cancer and all the devil's stuff that they put in me then, it, that was right at the COVID time. I didn't want more it was my choice. I didn't want more of that in me. I've never, knock on wood, I've never had COVID. 
and it was negative so I don't know but um, yeah so there you have it just say a prayer for us all we are on the mend but it's taking a lot to get better I mean my husband's been sick for two weeks and they finally just admitted him they didn't want to put him on antibiotics well the, they did they slapped a whole bunch and the and the vial used to be the thin vials they're about the size of your finger these were like cocktail bottles of of blood that they were taking from him I'm like what in the world <laughs> so I don't know if they're doing more tests or what but anyway hopefully we're just all on the men and nobody else catches any of this I've kept my house pretty clear and clean um, nobody's coming over just so that no we, we're not passing it around <laughs> so there's that anyway thanks guys for being here I love you and I look forward to doing another video I don't know when or what but I'll be back so you guys have a great day and I'll see you again soon bye